What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. In today's video, we're going over this guy right here. This guy right here, the Emissary Development Handbrake. Let's get into it. Before we start this video, if you've been liking my YouTube content on YouTube Shorts and Long Form, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's get back to the video. I'm in a review of this St. Victor. You can watch it right here. And it came stock with the angled foregrip by Magpul. Now there's nothing wrong with that foregrip. There's nothing wrong with Magpul. I just decided to kind of swap it out and see what I would like on this rifle. And let me tell you this far, I have been loving the handbrake. Full disclosure guys, Emissary Development did send me this handbrake and the handbrake mini to review on the channel. Today I'll just be going over the handbrake, not the mini one. Like with any foregrip, it's easy to install. You got your two screws, you pick your M-Lock choice placement, and you screw it on that M-Lock and you're good to go. My handbrake is kind of close up to the muzzle. That way with my support hand and the handbrake, I can shove that and just shove it back in my shoulder and make sure I can mitigate that recoil. Just like that. It's simple, it's easy, and man, let me tell you, this thing is freaking awesome. Surprisingly, the handbrake is not expensive. It's about 35, 40 bucks. Not too bad for some quality gear on your rifle. You can use the handbrake to post up on doors, you can post up on walls, you can post up on different corners. I mean, this thing is not moving once you screw that in there tight. Let's go over the features really quick of the handbrake. It's got a forward swept angle for enhanced ergonomics and ultimate control. It's got an optimized size and tapered walls designed for maximum comfort. Proprietary texture for ideal grip. It's got anti-slip bottom ledge, and there's a built-in front and rear barricade stop. It's a patented design, and it's also made in the USA. It's the perfect fit. Optimized size and tapered walls designed for maximum comfort. And the cool thing is, it's ultra lightweight coming in at 26 grams, which is less than the Magpul angled foregrip weighing in at 34 grams and the BCM Gunfighter vertical grip coming in at 54 grams. It's made from nylon polymer. The hardware is steel. It's got an included tool of T25 Torx bit. It's heat resistant up to 300 degrees plus. The M-Lock spans 1.5 slots. The length is 1.9 inches. The width is 1.1 inches. The height is 2.1 inches and the weight is 26 grams. So guys, you saw the handbrake you saw how it functions, how it works. What do you guys think? Is this something you're gonna pick up? Is this something you're going to put on your rifle for 35 or 40 bucks? I don't think it's a very bad deal at all. In fact, it might be one of the best foregrips out there for that price. I know for me, when I go to work, I can trust the handbrake to do its job and I can do my job effectively. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Are you gonna run the handbrake on your rifle? Do you think you're gonna get it? If you are, let me know down below in the comments. If you're not, let me know down below in the comments. I'd like to get your thoughts on yay or nay. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next John Q video. Peace.